good afternoon and good evening to all of my storm fans out there. It's me, your captain speaking. I am going to be letting you all know that this stream is happening right now. I'll be right back. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Thursday night stream. We are going to be storming again. Turns out, two storm decks top eight at SCG Philadelphia, and we played one of them er, last week, excuse me, and we are going to be playing another one tonight. This one is Ad Nauseam Tendrils, Ant a mainstay in the history of legacy, kind of taken a downswing as things have progressed to like a permanent based storm. Um, however, this list actually has quite a lot of things going on for it. Instead of just the lion's eye diamonds and lotus petals, we actually have quite a few additional permanents here that are going to be beseech uh, bargainable permanents. So actually, if you see this, our tutor package and guy as well, and tendrils of agony is pretty extensive. We have three beseech the mirrors, three infernal tutors. Haven't seen that card in a little while and a wish claw talisman and an ad nos. So we actually have as many action spells as previous iterations of the epic storm, not the current one, but that's fine. And we are playing Veil of Summer. We've got the cantrips. We've got the permanent uh, sources of mana that are bargainable. And we've got a couple of basic lands over here so that we're insulated against wasteland potentially. There's a lot going on for this list. Ant is evolving, which is a good thing. Ant needed to evolve to stay relevant. And success speaks volumes. Um, the iterations that we just talked about saw it in the top tables at SCG Philadelphia and a top eight finish out of the sideboard. Pretty traditional actually here. We've got some graveyard hate and carpet of flowers and fluster storm for the control matchups or the thought matchups in the fluster storms case. Um, <clears throat> and then a whole bunch of removal, right? For hate bears or problematic permanence and things like that. So, that's going to be kind of the goal for um, this list is win game one, pick up one of the sideboard games, kind of how 
combo decks work in general. Oliver, hey, hello. It is good to see you in chat. Welcome. I uh, haven't talked to you in a little bit. How's it going? And J Bears 92 nice. It was actually thinking about throwing this list together for your local store championship tomorrow. Well, hopefully we can help you make that decision. I'm already queued up into a league. Um, since it's not going to happen other than showing up above my head, I just want to remind everybody we're actually being uh, sponsored by KMC. They sent me some awesome hypermat sleeves. They also sent some perfect hards, but actually those are all gone now. I have sleeved up the Epic Storm in those perfect hards, fantastic sleeves, and they actually pair really well together. I was trying to sleeve the perfect hards into some other sleeves, and they didn't quite fit. Uh, the the really nice sleeves are just perfect pairings, the hyper mats and the perfect hearts, just a match made in heaven. So that's fantastic. Phoenix, this isn't Four Horsemen. I know. Uh, I know that you sent me that list. I'm going to play it, and I'm going to see if it's worth uh, <laughs> showing to the public. Uh, we are all queued up. And I'm going to start a league. And while we're talking, while we're uh, ready to rock, essentially, um, I'm going to show you a little bit of an ad. If you want to play this deck in person, then you can actually get it from a link in the description below for TCG player. However, if you want to rent it and play it online, there's a link in the description below. Um, if you're not watching live, I'm sorry, uh, to rent it from Card Hoarder. And um, that's going to, it's actually in the pinned comment, excuse me. Uh, and you can rent the deck from Card Hoarder, which is an awesome service. And I'm going to have Bryant tell you a little bit about that while we get queued into round one. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Alrighty, here we go. We are paired. I cannot keep this hand. It has a nice veil of summer protection, but what am I protecting? Absolutely nothing. So I'm going to mulligan this one. And this one, also really close. Um, I actually might keep this one. Uh, I have a black source and the dark ritual and an additional mana. I'm one mana away from an ad nauseum and two mana away from a protected ad nauseum. I think I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to bottom the tendrils of agony. I don't need that until it's time to win. Uh, Sai the celery guy. Hello. Thank you very much. I hope you're having a good evening and oh, well, you can always rent this. That's the whole point. Oh, okay. Well, this is going to be a problem in game one. Chalice of the void from our opponent. And I have the answer to it in my hand. Um, let's just hope that I can find a green spell or a green. Oh, wait, I should play this out. Uh, additional mana. I have the green source right here before they hit another problematic permanent that I have to deal with. This looks like goblins. It is goblins. Cavern of Souls naming goblin paths of the dead for what it's worth. It's a reskinned cavern of souls. And a goblin rabble master. Okay, this is acceptable. And uh, I look like an Italian mob boss henchman. Yeah, I got the the like, um, I don't know, gym shirt thing going on. I don't know what to think about it. Okay, well, I'm going to keep passing because it's no use ramping my opponent until I have something to do. And there we are with that one. Uh, Newton, uh, hello, good evening, and Bryant Cook is on this league. Oh, okay, interesting. Am I, are we going to run into Bryant? That could be a uh, an interesting time for sure. All right, so this is a very, very quick clock. I think I'm actually dead next turn, so what I have to do is besage you and essentially just hope to... Uh, here's the problem with ad nauseum. This is why I've really enjoyed not having to worry about ad nauseum uh, with the epic storm anymore since we've cut it. But seven life is not a lot to work with. Um, 
survey says, well, that's not going to do it. Um, I can ponder, but there's no one card that's going to get me where I need to go. So unfortunately, our opponent has defeated us and we're going to go to a sideboard game. <clears throat> All right. And for sideboarding, I think that I want Echoing Truth, Hercules Recall, Abrupt Decay. I don't think I need the dress downs. Empty the Warrens is interesting, although probably not necessary. Veil of Summer can get right out of here. And, um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe sl shave an Infernal Tutor with these, um, bounce spells coming in, it's going to be harder for Infernal Tutoring, uh, Infernal Tutor to be Hellbent. So I think I'm going to shave an Infernal Tutor. And I mean, it might be worth just getting rid of Ad Nauseum as well, since they're such an aggressive deck. Um, I know we have actually the Sad Nas ability to do this, but um, we're going to get rid of Ad Nas here and I'm going to bring in the Empty the Warrens. I think that our, our goal is to be a little more insulated as far as life total goes. And Ad Nas is pretty tough on the life total. So we're going to do that and submit. Yep. Um, Ad Nas is data tech. You don't know why people keep playing it. I mean, it did well, but I agree. Ad nauseum, the card is a bit outdated now, which is just shocking to think about. This is acceptable. I have a permanent, pe uh, a hate piece, um, and I've got some cantrips. We can make this work. I'm going to keep this, and I can ponder on turn one. Now, there's no surveil lands in this list, which is something that I would also like to see being adopted, but I just ripped the exact 75 from um, MTG Goldfish, and that's exactly what we're going to be playing. All right, this one is not as important as far as like a hate piece, um, which is good because Abrupt Decay doesn't answer it. So I'll get an Underground Sea here and cast a Ponder. Dark Ritual is good. Second Land is also good. Let's um, put the second land in our hand. I think that that's really excellent. Um, so let's see. What's not dated, Dominic? You tell me. See what our opponent is doing. And I am on the edge of my seat waiting to hear what you think. Ooh, we are bolting ourselves to play this Shatter Skull the hammer pass. Um, and we've got a Chrome box, Bryant cook dressing nicely. He does have a nice sense of fashion. All right. And we've got a Trinisphere. Well, well, well. Um, okay. I'm glad that I have another land, but I need to find land number three, which means I'm going to have to shuffle and take a land out of my deck to do so because I know the top of our library is a dud. Um, Unless they have a land drop, they actually can't play anything. Of course, they have a City of Traders. Never mind. What's their follow-up? Goblin Rabble Master. Seems pretty good. Our opponent with the excellent uh, start for sure. <clears throat> so it's going to be tough to come back from this, but we're going to see what we can do. Unfortunately, I don't have... I would love a Surveil Land here. That's exactly what I want just not going to happen. <clears throat> and can we get another land? Nope. Well, this is not going well for us in terms of a, a round one pairing. Um, Chalice of the Void is much better against Ad Nauseam Tendrils than it is against the Epic Storm. We have Burning Wish as an out for our sideboard consigned to oblivion. Not that it necessarily would have helped us in that instance, but you know, um, okay. Our opponent has one card in hand and we are not going to be able to do anything with that Hercules recall. Unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> is this us being deceased? I think this is us being deceased. Um, 
I don't think that we can draw anything that's going to win the game sooner than our opponent is going to kill us. We get another turn, but we can't draw anything in, in particular that's going to get us there. Um, hmm. This is when we draw the land, of course. Nope. Okay. Not even a land. Okay. And that's going to be it. We are uh, starting off strongly at 01 for the league, but that's okay. So let's get queued up and let's see. Let me check, check up on chat really quick. 90s is the new fashion back after the 80s nostalgic era. You know, I really liked something like Stranger Things for the iconic 80s fashion and just A+. 90s is going to come back and Jinko jeans are going to be a thing again that people wear unironically. And I'm not sure if my heart is ready for that, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we're just going to have to see what happens. All right. And on that very pleasant thought, I'm going to queue up into our second round and I'm going to tell you about the Moxfield link that's actually in the description. All of the other links were in the pinned comment. But you can actually check out the deck if you want to check if you want to play it. If you want to build it in paper, then fantastic. And Moxfield actually offers a whole lot of other things. And let me have Bryant tell you about it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're just gonna get queued into the round as soon as possible. And we won the die roll. Very good. Um and this is acceptable. Infernal Tutor and Beseech the Mirror. We're going to see which one of these we want to go with, but I've got cantrips to get started and a bargainable permanent or a way to turn on Infernal Tutor. So Lion's Eye Diamond, definitely um, more impactful than potentially other Storm lists. Um, you know, I really like the ability to shuffle here and we have cantrips to do everything we want with. I think I'm going to keep this and then I'm going to draw the ponder uh, next turn. Excuse me. And um, right now we kind of look like scam, which is just fine. So let's see. Dominique, you were crushing your, L your LGS with Storm? Yeah, absolutely. That's always a good time. All right. A Misty Rainforest. I'm also going to play a Misty Rainforest. And I'm going to brainstorm before they have two mana available for an Orcish Bowmasters. Okay. We got a Dark Ritual. Excellent. And um, a Thought Seize. I think I don't need the brainstorm. What I want to do is... Hmm. Let's see about this. We can put back, this is where we are making a decision. Let's say that we can put back brainstorm and one of the tutors and see where things go. And I think that it's going to be infernal tutor rather than beseech the mirror. I think I want to get rid of infernal tutor and brainstorm and then I can um, ponder again. So let's do that. Yeah. And I can do this off of a tropical island. And now we look like bug beans, which is nice. Um, it's like one of the, the few kind of cute things that ad nauseum tendrils players can do. And that's pretend that they're something else. Um, I don't know how good that is, generally speaking. Um, but, you know, it's possible. Most of the time when you're playing and you're getting good with the deck, people are going to know what you're on. Uh, the cook effect, I guess, is what we can talk about it as. So, yeah, Dominique, this hand is, is shaping up quite nicely, for sure. Um, Newton, bad matchups, terrible draws, really awesome hands from your opponents. Oh yeah, that's kind of tough. Uh, yeah, important tournament on Saturday as a two, three is kind of, kind of rough, but okay. Brainstorm. That's okay. I would daze that if I got a chance. Uh, 
Goffman, your strategy is to pretend to be a smarter opponent than you actually am. Oh, absolutely. You've got to bluff as much as possible. And part of that is that uh, confidence, projection of confidence from your opponent um, that like, especially as a combo player, you really need to get good at because if you're relying on a certain spell to resolve for your combo turn and you make that come across as accurate, then you've done a poor job at playing your combo. Um, And if you can sell that same idea on something that absolutely didn't matter, like this thought season just a second, because I picked up this veil of summer, um, then you can get your opponent to do some pretty, pretty silly things and punish them for it, which always is a good thing. And you can do that online with, you know, certain um, pauses in terms of priority passes and things like that. You can do that in paper with, you know, thinking about things. Uh, Ooh, okay. So we're doing riskaminator things, it looks like. Um, Okay. Atrax is in the graveyard. We are playing riskaminator as it is commonly known as. Um, So what I'm going to do is... Hmm. Thought sees them. I actually might even protect this with Veil of Summer, which is not necessary, but um, I mean, if it resolves, then we're doing just fine. And they forced it. I want to Veil because I I think that what we're we're dealing with is going to be a reanimate or an animate dead on the Atraxa, and that's going to refill their hand. And I kind of don't want to deal with that because that's going to give them more pitch counters, more dazes, more griefs or thought seizes of their own. And that's just, okay, there's a daze. Do they have two dazes? That would be unfortunate. Hmm. I played around one and they do have two dazes. That is rough. Hopefully they have an animate dead instead. By the way, I have a land on top of my library. I am going to be, um, I'm actually going to cast the lion's eye diamond too. Um, hopefully it's an animate dead. So I've taken them off of that line, but something tells me it's a reanimate with how aggressively they protected that. <clears throat> okay, they're drawing a troll of Casa Doom. And I'm going to be drawing a land for the bobble and then a random card for my draw for turn. This is, uh, it is a reanimate. Okay. Um, let's see what 10 cards they get. And I'm doing this. Oh, they don't have any discard. Oh, excellent. They don't have a grief, um, which is really, really good for me because I wanted to protect this. They didn't even have any counter magic besides days, which also is excellent because they double dazed. I don't think that they have another piece of counter magic. And I knew that they drew the troll of Kaza doom for turn. I think that we're sitting pretty, but that can all be taken out of whack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Okay, so they chose Animate Dead, Orcish Bowmasters, Reanimate, Polluted Delta, and Days. Okay, so I know about these six cards. They have two unknown cards, and uh, their life total is now quite a bit lower. Uh, and we get a Flooded Strand, or not a Flooded, Misty Rainforest, excuse me, and uh, an Ad Nauseam. Okay, well... That wasn't particularly useful, but if they did get us discarded, that would have actually been really sick because they would have taken the Beseech the Mirror and then we would have just drawn an Adnaz. Um, Okay, speaking of which, I need to decide whether to Adnaz or Beseech the Mirror. Beseech the Mirror is, let's see probably lethal. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Beseech the Mirror sacks the Lion's Eye Diamond. That's two mana floating. Play the Lion's Eye Diamond. That's five, six, seven. That's just lethal. Okay, this is a deterministic lethal, so I'm just going to go with Beseech rather than trying to flirt with Disaster and grab an Ad Nos that kills me instead of my opponent. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, do that. And we're playing around days here, which is nice. Um, and we're going to get a Gaia's Will, if that wasn't obvious. And once this Gaia's Will goes on the stack, then we can pay for a days. Just resolve. They didn't even care about that. Okay. Love that for us. Mishra's Bobble is our bargainable permanent now because I want this Lion's Eye Diamond for mana. And I even now have Veil of Summer protection. Not that it is really going to matter, but I can, um, I can just Veil now. It, it's not going to matter really, but here we go. Yeah, and our opponent has conceded. Fantastic. Okay. Um, that was a really bad Atraxa flip, and I think that we did just fine because of it. All right. Now, I want, let's see, Carpet of Flowers. I don't think that Empty the Warrens is good because the creatures that they're going to reanimate are um, excellent at dealing with a bunch of little dinky one ones because they have lifelink or other sacrifice plus life gain abilities with the Archon of Imeria. So that's not going to be a really good card here. I do want the fluster storms. I am not going to bring in surgical extraction for this. They are a decent deck to begin with, um, without the graveyard shenanigans going on. So I think that that's not necessary. I think what I want to do is cut a couple of Cabal Rituals and an Ad Nauseam. Hmm. Thoughtseize is instead of Cabal Rituals. I think that that's better. Um, yeah, keep the keep the Cabal Rituals. And a couple of Thoughtseize is going away is going to be just fine. I've got um, Flusterstorm that I'm kind of swapping for a Thoughtseize. That's pretty okay. And then a couple of Carpet of Flowers. So just... I think it's going to be fine. Ad nauseum. They, they are not a particularly fast clock unless they get one of their big fatties on the battlefield. Um, I just, I don't think that ad nauseum is the way to go. The other option is that I like keep in ad nauseum and I take out another thought seize or something like that. I just, I don't know. I think that putting all your eggs in one basket like that when they, I mean, they're going to have surgical extraction. So ad nauseum might not be bad. Okay. You know what? I've convinced myself they're going to have some amount of graveyard hate with Dothy void Walker and, and potentially surgical extraction. Um, so the guy as will line is not going to be as reasonable. Uh, so yeah, let's just, let's just keep ad nauseum in the deck. Thought that one through completely and and made made our point. Um, sure. Uh, this is not. I mean, the wish claw talisman is not bad. It can get anything we need. Um, Mox Opal is not being turned on anytime soon. Um. You know what? I actually think that this, like, I'm not even cantripping to find things that I want. I'm just at the whim of my opponent that's going to discard me, and I have a Veil of Summer on the draw. I think this is going to be a mulligan. And suddenly, I think that this is actually somewhat better um, somehow. Uh, even though I don't have blue mana for this ponder, I think that this carpet is going to be just fine. I'm going to keep this and bottom the Tendrils of Agony. This isn't the most amazing thing in the world, but um, we can at least play the game if this carpet resolves. Obviously, we're playing it into days, but if I draw another land, then I'm going to ponder instead of playing the carpet or just hold up Veil of Summer. Um, I don't think that I need to play into days that aggressively. Okay. Well, since that didn't happen, it goes carpet, and I'll play into days. 
and it didn't get dazed. And so now I can ponder and I'm feeling pretty okay with this now. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this. And, um, brainstorm's really nice. LED is not bad. Um, but no additional mana. I mean, the lion's eye diamond is mana technically, but I think I'm going to shuffle this. I need, I need some more lands and we got the brainstorm anyway. So I think that's fine. Fluster storm and veil. We're going to serve very similar purposes. And, um, the brainstorm is what I really wanted out of that. If it wasn't going to be a land, I think that keeping this is just fine. Um, yeah, Newton, as far as like the evasion of the big fatties. Yeah. My evasion is that I have a metric, I don't know, ton of goblins and can ho potentially kill you. Um, that's not going to work out in this case though. If they keep playing swamps, swamps, um, if they keep playing islands, then this ad nauseum off of the carpet is decent. Okay. They griefed pitching Atraxa. So they're like, you know what? I could brainstorm the Atraxa into my, my library again and not have to worry about it in my hand. But they didn't want to do that. They wanted to get rid of it for the grief. Maybe that's because they didn't have another black card. Maybe it's because they suddenly shifted into, oh, I'm going to be playing Archon instead of Atraxa. I'm not sure what the plan is there, but it is interesting that they decided to get rid of that. When they had the brainstorm to very clearly put it back in the library for an entomb. Okay, they got rid of the Veil of Summer. Makes sense. And are they going to reanimate the grief? They're going to be doing something to the grief, I would imagine. Ponder. Okay. The grief is staying put. <clears throat> um, we'll see what happens with this ponder, though. So I can actually float blue or make blue off of this carpet. I've got a nice couple of islands here. Um, and then what I can do is brainstorm, potentially find a land, play this Wishclaw Talisman out underneath any kind of additional discard. Um, the fact that they didn't have any particularly quick reanimation is giving me a little bit more confidence going into this even though I don't have uh, protection necessarily. And the fetch land already was quite nice. So I am going to keep going off of that same plan. And honestly, both of these infernal tutors are going, going, gone. Um, I do not want them in my hand right now. I have no way of getting hellbent, and I think that ad nauseum is currently in my plan, and we can see about this Wishclaw Talisman resolving. They're on top of my library if I feel the need to shuffle, but um, yet again, I would really want a surveil land in this list right now. Um, being able to fill the graveyard for a cabal uh, ritual or ooh okay <clears throat> null rod definitely kind of hurts it's not going to stop my carpet of flowers um okay glad i have the other land we are going to shuffle away those infernal tutors and I'm not going to worry about basics or anything like that. Uh, one, two, three, four. So I'm not going to do this. I am going to thought seize them right now. They probably have a force of will and um, some kind of interaction. I would imagine they didn't keep this. Yeah. Okay. Um, they didn't keep this off of the back of just 
Um, no rod wasteland. Okay. Um, I think that I need to take the brainstorm or the force of will, but I want to take the brainstorm because the brainstorm is going to dig them a little bit closer to a uh, black card for grief, which is going to be problematic. I could take the brainstorm, but then I am like, if they draw a blue card, then it's great. If they draw a black card, then it's great. And just taking the force of will right now is just, it's got to be the pick. Getting cute and hoping that they draw a non colored card, like a land, and that's the only thing, is not worth it. And I could have used Carpet of Flowers mana for that. I just tapped my land for no reason. Okay, so there's the brainstorm. They could find a black card to pair with that grief. They could, you know, do a number, uh, any number of things. But hmm, we'll have to see. I'm still one mana short of this ad nauseum, unless they play a land for some reason. And I'm drawing wild off of the top. Um, something that could work is getting a beseech the mirror. Because what I could do is. Um, Well, I'm actually a mana short of that anyway. No, I'm not. I have a land drop because there's Bayou in my graveyard. I can um, beseech the carpet away and then play the carpet again and then go to my second main and use it as a ritual effect. Um, but I wouldn't have the requisite amount of mana on the backside of that. So it's, it's not working yet, but that is a potential possible uh, line in the future. Wasteland is tough. Now, um, if they're holding the wasteland, then I, okay. I would assume that they would have had something like an Orcish Bowmasters, uh, but they just ripped it right out. And, okay. I am going to use blue mana off of the carpet and ponder. Uh, okay, Dark Ritual, Beseech the Mirror. Those are the things that we were just talking about. I can put back the Infernal Tutor, Dark Ritual, and Beseech the Mirror. Uh, I'm not going to shuffle, and I will play this Chrome Mox. Because um, I can double or triple bargain, and that's just fine. And that might be really nice. Okay, so... I have the requisite mana to beseech the mirror through a daze next turn. Or I can just cast ad nauseum into daze and they have to interact. Oh, okay. Well, there's the grief. They found an entomb and they pitched it for this grief. And thankfully, we just wasted the storm on a chrome box. Yeah, that's fair. Reasonable. Um... Okay, well, luckily I have two action spells in my hand and not the Dark Ritual. Uh, why did I play it? Yeah, I shouldn't have played out this Chrome Mox, guys. It was uh, quite silly. Just, like, wasted the storm count. Okay, they took Adnaz. They do not know that I have a Dark Ritual on top, which was expertly hidden. Um, obviously, we're going to just start now they have one card in hand i am going to play this and make blue mana i don't think that that's necessary and now it'll be black mana um all righty yeah you two are on the same wavelength for sure okay let's cast this with bargain i'll bargain away the chrome box and then i will bargain away the wishclaw talisman And then I will bargain away the Carpet of Flowers. And then I have Gaia's Will. They're at 18. I do have to keep going. I have a Bayou here. And I can play this Carpet of Flowers in my first main phase. And then I can go to my second main phase. And... 
clicking very carefully right now. Um, Carpet of Flowers triggers. I'm going to make some black mana. Cast a Chrome Mox. I guess I could have made green mana. Um, that would have been better than I would have had Veil of Summer Protection if they were just kind of baiting me into misplaying. That was a mistake on my part. Um, that's all right. I still have a Thoughtseize. Force of Will. Haha, <laughs> that doesn't do very much if it's your only card in hand. And I'm going to cast this with Bargain. I'm going to bargain the Chrome Mox away. And I have a Tendrils of Agony waiting for my opponent. Excellent. And we got a match win. Alrighty. Turns out it didn't necessarily matter that I threw away the Chrome Mox, but it could have, so I should have kept it. Uh, play tighter, guys. Let's see. Now let's actually talk about that Moxfield link that I was telling you about. Let me uh, just tell you about one of our awesome sponsors. I'll be right back. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Alrighty, here we are, and we just got paired into our third opponent of the evening, Geodude Jared. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I'm going to keep this, and we're going to expect that we're playing something akin to the Storm Mirror, I believe. Um, I'm keeping this. We have Beseech the Mirror. We have a Bargainable Permanent. I've got some can trips to go through oh maybe maybe this is doomsday maybe that's where i recognize this name yeah it might be doomsday um crazy if we could see an ad nauseum be played in an ant match yeah so far i don't i don't know know if i need to see it um obviously since we don't have burning wish like in a tes deck list um, oh, I have no idea what this is now. Um, you have to have something to get around graveyard hate. Otherwise, your line is just Gaia's will. And ad nauseum does that. But it's life total dependent. And Burning Wish is not life total dependent. And I think that that's just a bit better. Ooh, ad nauseum. Okay. Um, I think that I'm going to keep the ad nauseum on top of the deck. And I'm going to draw the Mox Opal. Ad nauseum. Well, I'm not going to get discarded from a wooded foothills deck. Um, famous last words, I know. Sorry, I just had a eyelash fall into my eye. Um, maybe I just want the island, and the ad nauseum can go just on the bottom. Yeah, that's actually that might be better. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Wooded Foothills either feels like Teamer Delver or um, more more actively thinking about something like a, a Rhinos deck, like a Teamer or a five color Rhinos. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm thinking. Uh, upkeep fetching for Badlands. Okay, never mind. I take back what I was thinking about. Oh, Cavern of Souls. Goblin. Is this actual factual goblins? This is, yeah, this is not turbo goblins. This is goblin lackey. This might even be a wasteland Rashadden port goblins list. Um, shocking. Okay. I haven't seen that in a while. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Okay. So what I can do here is, um, hide the beseech the mirror on top and ponder into it and then i can use well i don't have this is a cabal ritual and not uh, okay so that's not going to work out quite yet but i could potentially set that up for later um 
or I could stop getting cute and just can trip like in a normal person. And, um, okay. So what if I put back, um, uh, an Island and the ponder? No, the ad nauseum probably. Yeah. Um, and then I'll just cast a ponder. I've got a, a tropical Island to go get. Survey says ponder resolves. Okay. Just in case that they're playing some kind of um, ridiculous. Oh, wait, can I, can I do the thing that I wanted to now? I think I can. Uh, okay. So beseech is on top. I'm going to draw the Lotus petal. That was really good. So now I can, uh, no, I'm still one short. Okay. Cause I can, I can ponder, uh, one, two, three, four. No, no, no. Is that enough? Yeah, this is enough. This is enough. Okay. So I have beseeched the mirror on top and then yeah, Lotus Petal was exactly what I needed to draw there. Chrome Mox would have worked too. And okay. I'm going to hold priority, holding priority as I cast this ponder. And I'm going to sack the lion's eye diamond for black and pump out the graveyard so that I see what I'm doing and stack this very carefully. So I draw the beseech the mirror and not to shuffle very careful on those and then beseech the mirror bargain away the mox opal. And we've got ourselves a nice guy as well. How fun was that? It turns out we were going to do that anyway. It just, it wasn't going to happen immediately. Woo. <laughs> All right. That was fun. Um, still didn't play the ad nauseum, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Dress down echoing truth. Hercules recall a uh, decay. Probably all worth it. Um, okay. Veil of summer, not worth it. Um, ad nauseum might not be worth it either. They're a fairly aggressive deck. I, well, they might have graveyard hate still. Okay. Okay. Fine. I don't know if I need the Hercules recalls though. Um, and then I can take out, say, I can still shave an infernal tutor like we talked about previously. And then what? I don't know. I don't know where the, the last shave comes from. I'm not going to get rid of any of the artifacts. Bargainable permanents are very important here. Um, although I am adding two into the list. Bargaining a dress down is technically something that I can do. Like end of turn, dress down, bargain it away. It's kind of fun. Um, hmm. Could be the Thoughtseize. Might be the Thoughtseize. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> That's kind of fun. Uh, tribe Wars, you are correct. Uh, <laughs> crack LED lines and cantrip into whatever you need is an amazing feeling. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm going to be discarding the tendrils of agony to crack this lion's eye diamond, but I have an ad nauseum hand in right now going on forward. Uh, dress down, not bad. I'm going to keep it. I'm not sure if this is 100% correct, but I am going to try it out. All right. Um, Newton, uh, it's not full traditional. It's not turbo mux to see there. It's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Uh, back after 17th. Okay. Well, you know, it's fine. I'm, I'm excited to see goblins being played though, like traditional ish goblins. Ooh, lackey on one. Okay. Powerful start for our opponent. Ooh. Okie dokie. Um, that's really good too. And I'm going to make sure that I can get a basic if I get, I don't know, if I get accidentally blood mooned from this. Um, now, Lackey is totally reasonable to put in something like a um, Muxus right now. 
broadside bombardiers. Okay. I am okay with this. And the Rashad and Port, gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful Magic the Gathering card. And thankfully, a complete blank. Um, this means that they have something going on for me. Like Lackey, Port, not things that I would expect from an opponent who is wanting to win the game quickly from Storm. This is screaming like a mind break trap or something like that. Uh, especially if Broadside Bombardiers is the best thing that they've got going on. Could be a Trinosphere, I guess. Um, but I kind of want to wait one turn. See if I can find a Thoughtseize. There's three of them, so it's not that likely. Or I could just put Ad Nauseam on the stack right now and accept my fate if it is in fact a um, uh, mind break trap. If it's a surgical extraction, they also win because I would have to get Guy as well. Uh, I might just be better to ponder right now. Okay. Just playing it a little bit safer, and I think that that's going to be fine. The other option is that what they're doing is setting up a broadside attack. Um, okay. I will get another underground C here. Because um, they are now not going... I'm not going to give my opponent a choice as to which color they uh, port me off of next turn. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I could, I mean, still combo, but I think that, I think that shuffling this and trying to see what happens is best. Echoing truth. That's pretty good. Um, okay, let's see. Let's try this out. Newton, you really prefer the Black Saga Storm with Echoes than Ad Nauseam Tendrils? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I get that we could have attempted a combo. However, I think that our opponent has yet to show us why they kept their hand. And I am moderately concerned about it being a mind break trap or a surgical extraction. Oh, there's the Muxus. Okay, well. Uh, oof. Matron and a Skirk Prospector means that they get to cast whatever goblin that they want. Uh, broadside bombardiers can sack the Muxis, um, for damage and deal me eight, nine, 10, 11. Oof. Um, and they got themselves a Pashlik Mons. I think I am dead. Oh, wow. Um, I was not expecting to die right from here, but yeah, we are deceased. Um, I'll let my opponent do it, but yeah, I get domed with the Muxus for eight plus one. That's nine. And then each one of these sacks is going to deal me in. So, um, very good turning the corner from my opponent. And, um, it wasn't even close. Wow. Like the middle, I guess. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And they get to make more goblins just in case. Um, and I have nothing to do. I, I am deceased. What are we doing? Are they showing me more cards? I would like them to show me more cards. They're making, they're paying costs. Oh, just the patch lick. Okay. That's fine. Um, okay. Well, they definitely worked it out. So here we go. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Do I need empty the Warrens in? I don't think that that's a good idea that I, requires me to pass the turn. I was just worried about surgical extraction and then that's why I didn't go through a graveyard line or a mind break trap, which is why I didn't immediately go off. So yeah, 
I'm going to play first. We'll see what happens. Um, I just need a piece of action here. Um, I will keep this. And I can thought seize them to slow them down enough for me to find something. I think that that's fine. No cantrips kind of stink, but I have the ability to just immediately start cantripping. And our opponent has mulligan to four cards. Um, I think that the three cards, uh, okay. I think that I'm pretty okay with my keep suddenly. I'm suddenly very happy with this. And if they go with, uh, say a ley line, I don't really care about that. So I am going to thoughts these them. If they don't have a ley line, then what they've likely kept is a land plus a goblin lackey. Um, and I would just be able to strip that and they're, they're good. So yeah, mulligan to three and they get thought seized. I'm feeling pretty good so far. Chalice of the void. Okay. Well, I'm going to take that as well. They had some kind of hate piece and then they have a name sticker goblin and a cavern of souls. I'm going to leave the lion's eye diamonds. I see that they just had a chalice. There's usually like two of them in the list. They might be playing four now. I don't know. I don't know what the new goblin lists are doing. Um, but I think that the storm is important here. Okay. Give me an infernal tutor, which is a word I've said. Ooh, uh, that's a lot of lion's eye diamonds. Okay. Hmm. Oh, they've, okay. They've found their land. They have one unknown card. Infernal tutor. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, Wild though, uh, as this may seem, I don't think, I mean, should I just, should I get ad nauseum? I'm, I'm getting ad nauseum. This might not be the correct play. I am going to get ad nauseum so that we at least cast ad nauseum once this league. Um, okay. I realize that it's very beneficial for me to get a beseech the mirror here. I'm going to get an ad nauseum beseeches deterministically kill. Uh, so I'm just going to do it. It's going to be ad nause. I understand that this is unnecessary and it's been a long time since I flipped <laughs> with ad nause. Okay. Dark ritual, Lotus petal, dress down, chrome mox, polluted Delta, underground sea, dark ritual, beseech the mirror. We are going to stop there. We don't need to do anything else. And, uh, our opponent is being a good sport and <laughs> they were really excited about all of the lion's eye diamonds. Um, okay. Wow. And we put another W on the map and <laughs> we, we did cast ad nauseum. Uh, was it necessary? No, but it was cast and that's all that, ca that I care about right now. So <laughs> good enough. Good enough. We're two and one can see it right here and we're going to get started into our next league match while i'm doing that i'm going to tell you i mean obviously this deck put up numbers in paper and if you want to be playing in paper then you should probably use tokens especially at comp rel um, dice is not a great way to keep track and is frowned upon as far as the rules go so let me tell you about how you can keep track of storm mana tokens all those good things while we wait for our fourth opponent. I'll be right back. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Yeah. Uh, Travis, uh, black lotuses and demonic tutors definitely get there. 
And we are playing our fourth opponent, which was excellent timing. This has all worked out really nicely. And we won the die roll. I am definitely keeping this gorgeous hand. And I understand that I could get something like a tropical island and hold up Veil of Summer. But I'm going to take the opportunity to lean into one of the strengths of excuse me, um, I've got a carbonated beverage. It's making me burpy. Uh, lean into one of the strengths of the deck, and that's the fact that we have two basic lands. So it's going to be difficult for our opponent to wasteland us completely. And because of that, I can get an island here and cast a ponder. The only thing that I'm missing is green for a veil of summer. I technically have it here, but this is also my bargainable permanent. So if I find another bargainable permanent, then I have veil of summer back up. So I think that this is a reasonable uh, decision, a reasonable game plan. And uh, we're going to get started. Our opponent mulliganed to six, and I'm going to find that basic island and cast a ponder. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is really quite excellent. What I'm going to do is draw the mox opal. I'm going to keep the thought seas. Um, that'll be like my protection or disruption if that's necessary because what I'm going to do is play the lotus petal. There are a lot of scam matchups out there and if I can fail of summer to protect myself that feels pretty good to me. Um, I don't think that we're going to be doing anything to start off as far as a combo goes next turn but I have a ponder underneath that and we can find another ritual and get the ball rolling. <clears throat> Chrome Mox and a Bloodstained Mire is uh, is this storm with a ponder? Yeah, this is the epic storm. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Bayou, yeah, Lions Eye Dime. Yeah, this is the epic storm. Okay. Um, I'm glad that I have this Veil of Summer up. Definitely. And this looks like a beseech the mirror and they're going to sack the Chrome Mox and oh boy, howdy. Look at this. I, <laughs> all right, we'll see how this goes. They had a veil of summer of their own. Gaia's will. They sacked the Lion's Eye Diamond to make the requisite black mana. This is an excellent turn. This is beautiful. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough because I have the Veil of Summer. Now, they could pivot for a, uh, a Galvanic Relay for some reason. Um, I'm not sure why they would do that, though, especially since it's so unlikely that I have the Veil right now. Well, it's not super unlikely, right? But um, I think that it's it's reasonable to just go for it here. And I've got the veil to stop them in their tracks. Pretty okay by me. <clears throat> and let's see. I wonder, so I know that Bryant is doing a tutoring session right now. I wonder if this is uh, the tutoring session that he's doing and this is their uh, their username. I don't know. I, I don't I don't think so, but I just know that that's happening and he's like, hey, you might you might cue into me. Uh, we're gonna beat you on camera. However, I don't think that's happening. This is very exciting. And I mean, they had me dead to rights, but I decided to play the Lotus Petal out because I was worried about grief. If I didn't do that, they definitely would get me. Um, now, if they have a relay and decide to go again, then I am unfortunately not going to be able to come back as easily from that. Um yeah, it's not. Oh, these. This is not Bryant. He would not be caught dead playing um, 
MTGO printings of cards, right? He plays the printings that he owns in paper, actually, or as, as close to it as you can, right? So that's the uh, that's the idea. I try to do that as well, just because I have visual um, like memory associated with playing the cards here. So when I see them in paper, I kind of don't have to make that additional leap where this lion's eye diamond is the same as the lion's eye diamond that I have in my hand that looks different, you know, from uh, Margaret Oregon Keen. <clears throat> so that's kind of the way I do it. I don't know why Bryant does it, but you know, that's uh, that makes sense to me. And which is great because if you have a card hoard or rental account, then you can actually pick which um, printings that you want and you can rent exactly the cards that you want. And you don't have to necessarily go with that. You can just go for optimized the lowest possible and you're good with that too. But um, it's kind of, kind of fun to be able to pick it. All right. Um. I do not have lethal at the moment. One, two, three, four. Lotus petal. Yeah, I don't have I don't have lethal at the moment. So what I'm gonna do, our opponent is hellbent. I'm going to I mean if I find a dark ritual, then I would have it, but didn't do that. Okay, so I'll shuffle. Lion's eye diamond. That might be just lethal. That is lethal. Okay, cool. Nope, nope, nope. I don't have um metal craft. That's fine. <clears throat> I have lethal next turn. And our opponent has one draw to rule them all. It could be um, either one of the two surveil lands or one of the three echo of eons. It doesn't look like it was. It could also be a veil of summer. Um, we'll just have to see. If it's a veil of summer, good on you. I did the exact same thing to you uh, two turns ago. So. No hard feelings, but I hope it's not. We're going to bargain away this Mox Opal and get a Gaia's Will. And I'm going to hold control as I cast this Gaia's Will and sacrifice the Lion's Eye Diamond for black. And this is quite excellent. I even have a land drop, although I actually am not going to do that because I might need... Um, Actually, yeah, I, I can make the land drop in just a second. I'm going to use this Beseech to get a Cabal Ritual because I have the Tendrils in my graveyard and the Cabal Ritual has Threshold, so it's actually positive mana. And now I can play out the additional things like the Dark Ritual and the everything else. So, yeah. Just, just it wasn't necessary, but it's just a little bit of a clean sequencing thing where um, all of that worked out in my favor. Okay, so going to sideboard against the Epic Storm, and <laughs> this is going to be fun. Um, I'm going to grab Fluster Storm and Empty the Warrens because they are a Veil of Summer deck, and I need that. Um, it's not you. <laughs> okay. I was expecting it to be you. Um, surgical extractions are maybes at this point. I don't think that it's going to be super important. Um, I don't need the Besaju you here. And I think that Honestly, all the rest of this is not bad. I might get rid of the island. I, I like all of these cards. Um, maybe getting rid of the island is not a bad idea. That's like an option here. Um, I could also shave, I don't know. Um, I think that keeping thought seasons around are important. I could shave a ponder. Um, Adnaz, I think, is still important. Um, it allows us just that extra ability to go fast. Um, I'm going to go with the Ponder and keep the mana because that might be important. We don't have 
a lot of, you know, Chrome Moxin or something like that that I would have with the Epic Storm. And I think that that's going to be it. I don't want Hercules Recall. That's just adding to Storm. Um, Echoing Truth to bounce a Song of Creation seems like a very bad idea. And Carpet of Flowers, even though there are three islands, is not a good idea. Every once in a while, somebody brings in Carpet of Flowers against the Epic Storm, and I'm just blown away. Um, Okay. I am... The opposite of blown away. I am very underwhelmed with this hand, and I'm going to mulligan in it. This, however, is pretty good. I'm going to keep this, and I'll bottom the tendrils. I have a Thoughtseize, a Mishra's Bauble, and all kinds of additional uh, goodies to go with it. The Brainstorm is going to kind of be holding this hand together. Um. Mm. Her opponent has mulliganed to two cards. I was not paying attention to that until just now. They have two cards. They're definitely going for an Echo LED hand, and uh, turns out it didn't go very well. Yet again, I'm going to punish a mulligan if they don't start off with an Echo immediately. Um feel pretty okay with that. Although, honestly, um, they have two cards in hand. If one of them is a Lion's Eye Diamond, ooh, it's not. Uh, okay, I'm going to see what's up over there. Uh, Beseech is an excellent pickup. Um, oh, you know what? I should probably, <laughs> probably fetch. That is a reasonable expectation that I have the lands to necessarily cast my spells. <clears throat> that's fair that's fair um <clears throat> okay well yikes um okay i will I will do this, and I'm going to... I guess I should have played the Mishra's Bobble out. Um, it wasn't going to change what I was going to discard, though. So I, That was not the most amazing. I guess I could have uh, intuited that um, based on their harder mulligans that they had one of the two parts together. Uh that they needed to echo. And since they didn't play a lion's eye diamond out on turn one, that they had echo in their hand. I don't know if that's that difficult to extrapolate. Maybe I should have thought about that. Ooh. um, Okay. One, two, three, four. Cast this. Is this a win? Hold up. Um, I think this is a win. Hold up. One, two, three. And I got the four on the front side. And then I've got Lion's Eye Diamond. One, two, three, four on the back side. So now I just care about Storm. So this is one, two, three. Relay, uh, or not relay. Um, Gaia's Will is four. And then Sack the Lion's Eye Diamond. Send five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. This is This is lethal lovely. Um, I just wanted to make sure, right? I just wanted to count it all out just in case. And away we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold priority right now and crack this immediately, which is generally unnecessary, but... I'm going to do it now. Oh, and I also have um, a threshold. So now this Cabal Ritual actually is... I have more than enough mana. I didn't need to worry about that aspect. Uh, Just the storm. And we've got that taken care of. And I can Thought Seize them for good measure. They don't have um, green mana available, so they're not going to be able to 
Veil of Summer Me. Wow. Okay. I feel really bad because uh, the Epic Storm is such a beautiful and lovely, perfect deck, and it just really got hit hard with a bad set of mulligans. All righty. Uh, Clawtooth, your confession. You were on Sultai Beans the other day with a TES opponent. Turn one, 16 goblins with empty, and then you powder kicked. Oh, that's just rude. I'm, that's kind of tough. I understand powder keg is there for a reason, but yikes, that is a hurtful, hurtful thing to share in chat. All right, let's get this started. Uh, we've, we've got a positive record already locked down. We're three and one. I four one with the epic storm, uh, last week. Can we four one with this? I don't know. It's looking possible. I mean, it's obviously looking possible. I just have to win the next one, but, um, this has felt okay. Obviously, Ad Nauseam has done nothing as far as a card that has mattered in any of the games, but we haven't really come up against the places where it would be good, which is uh, Graveyard Hate or something like that. Having Song of Creation um, is also a way to combat Graveyard Hate, which is not something that this deck is doing. Instead, they're working for Ad Nauseam. Uh, we have in the Epic Storm, you know, Song of Creation, we have Burning Wish, we've got all kinds of things going on for that. But this is working out just fine, so it's probably doing something right. And uh, let's see, I think, uh, let's see, Newton, almost all times that you had to go for goblins, your OP had a response for that, or it just doesn't matter at all. Yeah, I think that um, we went, I was playing against uh, uh, I can't remember. It was Helm or like something last week where I went for Empty the Warrens and it ended up actually being good, but it was kind of close. All right. We won the die roll here. I would like to play first for our final match. We're against Dean Neely, who's a doomsday expert. I... Mm, this is real tough. Um, Fotsies is obviously very important and I don't have a non Lotus petal black source. Uh, I have to mulligan this one. I'm going to be disciplined and mulligan it. I think that that's just too important. Um, I don't know. Uh, I could keep this and hope for a black source in my following draws or another bargainable permanent. Like we've got things rolled up here pretty well. Um, if I can get something going, but you know what? I'm actually going to keep this. Uh, I'm going to keep this and just, I can draw a veil of summer. I can draw another ritual. I can draw another, you know, bargainable permanent. Um, we got to work on this one. D Neely, isn't, isn't he on Doomsday right now? Usually green decks. Oh, wait. Who am I thinking of that has a similar name? Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe they are on just Maverick style decks. Oh. Uh, Newton, uh, Saturday, you did 24 goblins after two one rings in a roll. OP just ripped a sneak attack and Emmer you. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts a lot for sure. We used to be able to play around the one ring and win. Um, not something that we feel is necessary right now. The one ring is kind of dropping in popularity. We, I know that the goblins players sometimes use it. Um, but if that ends up becoming a problem, we can always go back to using cut to ribbons, which was our answer to the one ring. Um, this is a really nice split card that we can beseech the, or not beseech burning wish for, and then sack lion's eye diamond, put it in the graveyard and cast, uh, ribbons, which is X and a black each opponent, which doesn't target, uh, loses X life. So worked out really, really nicely for the one ring. And when we were playing, um, what was it? Mind's Desire. We were playing the Mind's Desire build where we could go infinite. We felt really confident about having cut to ribbons in our sideboard for that. Yeah, this is Maverick. So 
or or uh, Naya Depths. I don't know why I was thinking this was Doomsday. But yeah, this is the legend D. Neely themselves in the flesh. Um, okay, I just need a bargainable permanent, and I've got this all wrapped up. Um, crop rotation notwithstanding. And then I have a thespian stage and a wasteland. Ooh, wasteland's going to be good. All right. <clears throat> and they're going to appropriately wasteland me in my upkeep. Look at them go. And I mean, I'll play the Mishra's Bobble. Okay. Uh... I should probably just do this now. Um, they have another wasteland. Okay. Do they have an orcish bowmaster? No. Once upon a time. Another once upon a time. Okay. So they don't have this wasteland anymore. They have a knight of the reliquary instead. Um, I have a ponder, which I might just need to cast. There's that thespian stage. There's that Knight of the Reliquary. Okay. I would love to find either a Bargainable Permanent or, I mean, I would love a Lion's Eye Diamond. That's what I would really want right now. Uh, <laughs> awful. Uh, not great. Okay. Well, might have been the worst possible one. Um, Bobble is a bargain. Yes, we could have. We definitely could have. We could have done that for sure. Um, I just wasn't thinking about that. Okay, well, there's everything that we need. Um, all right. That was silly. That's moderately embarrassing. Um, that's okay. Well, we're, we're going to move forward and get to a point where we can probably just add Nas. Um, play around Graveyard Hate because now this knight is... Um, why didn't we take a land? It's either way. Oh, and now this is a collector oof. Um, oh, Gaddock Teague. Well, I can't beat that. Um, yeah, I can't beat that at all. Not right now. That was a poorly played game on my part. That definitely could have and should have gone better. But here we are. I'm going to get rid of... Okay, here's our options here. Uh, yeah, Newton, you, you really just got to just... Oh, you know what? Brian's got it covered. Um, he's going to give me a hard time about it every single time. All right. As far as opponent cards that I care about, they're going to be Gaddock Teague and they're going to be Collector Oof. Abrupt Decay, Echoing Truth, Dress Down, deal with those. Empty the Warrens deals with the fastness of the deck. Um, yeah, I've got many and Bryant knows them all. Uh, okay. They're a crop rotation deck, so I want to keep Ad Nauseam in to deal with uh, potential graveyard hate shenanigans. And then what I can do is I can shave on ponders. I could shave on cabal rituals. I can shave on infernal tutor. Infernal tutor is not bad when I'm bringing all these in or shaving on them. It's not bad. Um, I could do that. And then Maybe, a, I don't know. Uh, Thoughtseize is something that I want actively. And then I can get rid of a couple of Mishra's baubles. That might be reasonable. Obviously, it makes Mox Opal and Chrome Mox work worse, but um, I think that this might be good enough. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do that. And I will keep this. I'm going to ponder off of an underground sea here actually probably the tropical island um and i'm gonna just see where things go okay tropical island 
the polluted Delta can go get the, um, Bayou, but I'm going to be open to wasteland. Ooh. Okay. These are excellent. Um, Misty can go on the bottom. I don't need that. And then I'll protect the beseech the mirror from a potential thought seize. I don't think that that's a thing that happens anymore, but they're usually Naya depths as opposed to obs on depths, but maybe it's obs on depths now. Could be just straight up green white. Uh, who knows? Echoing deep and wasteland. Okay. Are they going to wasteland me? They are going to wasteland me. Um, and an elvish reclaimer. Okay. Well, I'm going to draw the beseech the mirror. There's a fetch land. I actually think I'm going to keep that on top and draw it. Um, that seems like a good thing for me to have. And obviously this is representing a pseudo crop rotation for a bajuka bog. And I would like to abrupt decay that. Um, we'll see where things go. I'm feeling okay about this game. However, um, it can turn pretty quickly. Okay. I think that they're going to be activating this Elvish Reclaimer. They're going to... Yep. There's the Elvish Reclaimer activation. Probably getting a Flagstones, if I had to guess. Um, there's the Flagstones. And and we're going to just see them grind out small bits of ramp. They have a Maze of it. And a... Yeah, okay. So they have pseudo vigilance with their Elvish Reclaimer, which is why they still have Maze of Ith in there, because they can, after damage has been done in the end of combat step, they can untap the Elvish Reclaimer, and uh, Elvish Reclaimer now can still activate to get rid of the flagstones. And uh, I'll get the Bayou, and I'm actually going to get the other Underground Sea. Um, Wasteland is going to be problematic for me anyway, and uh, just having better mana seems good to me. We didn't have the ability to, say, start off on uh, basic lands. We didn't have that luxury. I mean, I could have fetched one, but I wanted to keep the fetch land around. <clears> hmm. <throat> it's a jeery step. Okay. Sure. I was not expecting them to actually get Sajiri Step to protect their Reclaimer. Now I think that we have the opportunity to put a win on the board. Uh, hold up. Five. So they don't have crop rotation up, which is really nice. Um, they could have a surgical extraction, I suppose, um, or a fairy macabre of some kind. Uh, this is five, six, seven. So I do have threshold if I want it. And then Beseech the Mirror could get... Uh, oh, Endurance. Yeah, that's probably the better one, Jared. Um, hmm. Force of Vigor. That's not as important. I can play around Force of Vigor pretty well. Um, <clears throat> okay. Well, I think that what I need to do is just um, beseech the mirror here for an ad nauseum. And um, this way I can ad nauseum next turn. From 11, not super amazing, but... Probably good enough. And I have a Chrome Mox as a, uh, so one, two, three, four, five. And then let's, the Cabal Ritual could be the fifth mana or it could be five, six, seven. And I have two black mana floating depending on what they do with this Reclaimer. They have another Flagstones. That's pretty good. I really hope that they don't have. Uh, 
I hope that this isn't a Gattactig. This looks like a Gattactig. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I was going to need to get through Sajiri Step anyway, and now I just have to find more um, hate or hate removal. So let's let's see what we can do. Now there's more. So I can get a Beseech the Mirror. Oh, wait, no, I can't even cast that. That's right. That's why I wasn't clicking. Um, I was like, oh, I can tutor for the removal for Gaddock Teague. I can't cast the tutor for the removal for Gaddock Teague because Gaddock Teague is stopping me from tutoring for the removal for Gaddock Teague. How could I just not see that? And unfortunately, oh, okay. That's not bad. Um, Okay, here we go. Elvish Reclaimer, and I'm going to abrupt the decay the Gaddock Teague right now. Oops. I need black mana for that. And they have a crop rotation. Yikes. Um, that's unfortunate. I was, oh, Veil of Summer. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty tough. I was not expecting a veil of summer, but that definitely works. Hmm. Once upon a time, once upon a time, I thought we could do this. Once upon a time, I was wrong. And they have a bajuka bug to get rid of, uh, all of my graveyard that I work so hard to build for my threshold. Uh, this is not going my way. And it's not even close. So I take five right now. And um, I need to draw one of my bounce spells right now. And that's not going to do it. Okay. Well. That was uh, not particularly close. I definitely misplayed game one. I just, there was a lot of improvements that could be made there. And then game two was very solidly, I had no out to the hate bears that were presented to me. Good use of wastelands and just excellent play all around. Couldn't get through it. Let's talk about this deck though. Uh, it's, I mean, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. We had to put up a th positive record. Um, I just, I think that ad nauseum has seen its time in the sun and it has been a fantastic card to be playing. It's time is over. Um, Beseech the mirror very specifically is the reason that ad nauseum is no longer as good as it once was. Um, and that's just, that's just the, the reality of our new legacy that we're living in. Um, I love it. Actually, uh, storm has never been better uh, positioning wise. You could argue storm hasn't, has been better positioned, but the, the power of storm is better than it has ever been. And that's mostly because of beseech the mirror and Gaia's will song of creation has certainly helped that. Um, the fact that this is not a burning wish deck never really came up. Um, ad nauseum provided outs to graveyard hate where we wanted them. Um, but, uh, ha not having an out to veil of summer certainly would have hurt us in the previous, the last round, the previous match. Uh, I think that that's good. That's all I've got really. Um, main deck Paseju is kind of nice against the, the, chalice of the voids we actually had that come up tonight so that was pretty good uh brian was he tapped out before teague had threshold uh no no he was not um he he was not tapped out but that's fine and no endurance to be had that we knew of but good enough to end uh our four one ideas instead we got a nice three two solid three two honestly and i had a lot of fun 
I will catch you all in a week and hopefully another fun, positive record. I hope that you all have a good night and I will see you around.